okay guys welcome back to my youtube channel and this is still the voice of ninja trains ipeleng live happening that was interview what a sweet interview between ipeleng and the person who is interviewing her watch subscribe and like this video thank you uh, are you serious <laughs> And I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm necessary. Your mind. What? Sorry. So that's the first thing that came to your mind. Yeah. Wow. That's me. That's I like interesting. kissing. Me, I'm a kisser. I'm a lover of kisser. Kissing. <laughs> My mm -hmm. mom is watching this live now. <laughs> I'm a lover of kisser. <laughs> me, I'm a kisser. Me. Yeah. And a hugger. And a handshake. <laughs> okay, what else? I think I have two last ones, okay? Two last ones. Ah, movies. Movies. Mm -hmm. Um, Jerusalem, Tzotzi. Um, those are like old South African movies. Right. I think no other movie has been made like those ones. Those ones just capture the true essence of who we are as South Africans or as Africans. They are very raw. They are very real. They represent almost... Right. of South Africa, so yeah. Uh, and then last but not least, I have a series. What are you checking, Ma? I'm a real housewife kind of girl. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? yeah. Yes, I like drama. I'm just like, okay, I don't like my own drama because I'm not dramatic, but I like it when they get like, and I'm like, let's go. So, <laughs> would you be Part of, let's say, you know, uh, fast forward to your life, would you be part of that kind of show as a cast member? I mean, why not? If I'm married to a billionaire from somewhere, Abuja or Lagos yeah. Housewives or <laughs> Kadeja or Johannesburg, I'm just like, let's go. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been on a reality show before. Well, I so, uh, I just okay. small waters. It's not going to be that bad, bad, you know. Yeah, speaking of, speaking of being married to a billionaire, man, is, is money very important in a relationship for Ipeleng? Love is very important for me in a relationship, but love can put me out. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not hearing my voice, I said Love is not going to buy a necklace like that. Thank you. This is the main classic TV. So, money. Right at the end love, of it all. Love is love is and money just makes it greater. Oh, that's very beautiful, man. I feel I feel like I'm gonna buy that a lot. Uh so speaking of acting, which is what you're gonna be doing one of these good days, radio as well. Uh do you have a radio station that you are dying to work at? Yeah, definitely YFM. Um just because it has molded so many young people and with the Y Academy and stuff like that, I think I just don't want to get into it, to the industry and think that I'm already good. You know, I want to learn as well. So definitely YFM, you have Metro FM as well, that Queen B happens to also have been there, you know. <laughs> And any other, you know, um, um, radio, I'm not very, like, picky and stuff like that. I acknowledge that I have to start somewhere in life, and I can't just start from boom, and I'm at the top of top. I mean, even if I do, you know, that's great and stuff like that. But I'm just a believer of, you know, studying small and just growing. And just because it's a whole part of my growth. Yeah. That's dope. And if there was ever a chance to redo it, getting back in the house, and it's knocking on your door. Yeah. Do it again? Well, you know, this question, I've been saying no. Like, I've been saying no just because the house is a lot. And a lot of people that are watching at home just think that it's such an easy thing. You know, they think they can say, Ipiling, don't do this. Right. Do that. But it's a very different kind of thing once you are inside the house and you realize that, oh, my God, you know, there's so much emotions in there. I was just one of the people that was very honest with my my emotions and stuff everyone can see it and people thought i was a crazy person i'm like every single one of us actually went through that mm. but now nah, because i'm such a sensitive person i i i 
it's easy for you to see my, my, my vulnerable side and stuff like that. So I think that I would go back. I mean, as much as I've been saying no, I would go back just looking at the growth that I was able to, you know, achieve within the period of two months, three months and stuff. And I would go back just to learn more about people as well, just to learn more about myself as well. And just to better myself again, you know, and maybe when I go this time, I'll even come out as this person that is more respected. I'm not saying I'm respected. I'm not respected now, but I think that I'll be more respected. Also change perspective on how people viewed me in yeah. the first, season of the titans and stuff like that because when i meet people and think yo no but you this kind of girl i'm like you guys clearly were not watching the show so to get a chance to also change perspective to impact life as well to make a difference and see you know represent again people that are just like me i think that would be such a great thing yeah dude that's crazy how are the kids to you when you're walking on the street man what's the love like uh do they know oh my gosh the love is a lot yeah the love is, is a lot because sometimes they come to me and they're like, just the other day I went to Centurion Mall and this girl's like, I want to cry. And I'm like, if you cry, I'm going to cry too because I'm, I'm such a cry baby. But it's one of those things realizing that it, when I went in there, I thought I was going there for myself, but I came out with so many people's hearts as well. You know, I came out with so many people even relating to what I was or what I was putting out there and the kind of person I am, you know. So I, the laugh is crazy, man. Uh, I, I, I don't even lie to you. I'm appreciative of it. Sometimes I'm like, yo, God, do I even deserve it? But I realized that it's only because I represented people that did not believe in themselves, you know, introverts, anxious people. And I was not shy about talking about mental health because it's a real thing, you know. Yeah. I love yeah. that point. Uh, people are happy on my on, on our chat right here Yo. married or engaged actually this is not real guys can you relax you are not you're, yeah you're, we're far from it we did ask that and we <laughs> it's, uh, uh, do you want to read some of these things yeah I've been reading them I mean I've been reading them I can read this one by Frost Moss it says um um okay it says she's never i'm trying to read it before i read it out loud okay um well, yo uh it says oh, she has been consistent okay, apparently because it belang is literally uh, oh it's disappeared okay i just saw she's been consistent but people are just happy with the interview um if you like to come to botswana ah, i'm actually coming to botswana very soon oh for real that's dope man yes i am coming to botswana very very soon i'm super excited um i'm coming there to learn about ngwaoya lona as well you know about your culture as well as a fellow motswana girl i didn't like i grew up in south africa and stuff like that and and I just had the disadvantage of not knowing my true cultures and stuff like that. I know Kyoriki Mokata and stuff, but I want to come to a place where it's like mainly the, the, the Zwana people. So I'm so excited about that. That'd be dope, man. Hit me up. I, I know your manager uh, slash friend yeah. should hit me yeah. up as happens. And then we can, you know, we can still show you around as well. You know, yeah. a few nice places. Ah, I'm excited. So, oh, uh, someone saying a suggestion actually um uh, you should start a podcast is that something that's crossed your mind it's funny how everyone has been saying that but i'm so scared of podcasts and <laughs> you know i i feel like podcasts you know not that i'm afraid of working and stuff like that but yeah. i feel like it's such a lot of work i do have great ideas and stuff like that right. but i'm the kind of person that when i do certain things i want to make sure that it feels right and it's at the right time, you know. So for me, a podcast right now, maybe after a month, or two months and stuff. But for now, because I'm still trying to figure myself out, it seems like like I'm, I'm, I'm too in a hurry and stuff like that. Yeah. Until I do understand my purpose and what I'm trying to do with the whole podcast thing, I'll probably go ahead and do it. But I mean, right now, hey, I just want to be on radio, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the radio thing. So where did it start? I think there's uh, some of the questions, and I'm about to release you uh, okay. in a few minutes. Uh, okay. When did this passion for radio start? And why radio and not... Okay, what are you studying right now? You, you said you're a student. Okay, yes. I'm doing my LLB. I'm studying law. So with the whole radio, it came... I was in grade 12, right? So I'm this shy girl. Now, 
Oh, sorry to interject, by the way. Oh, I didn't get that. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I was like, you studying law? Yes. So what the whole? Okay, law is like separate, right? But you know, I'm trying to like merge. You know, a little story. This is crazy. All right. Yeah. So it, what? Because. Oh, I didn't. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Because you, 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 this is gonna blow your mind. I'm on radio, and I studied law. Right, nice, yep. nice. So you studying law, and, and you want to be on radio, girl? You were not, you were, girl. You were not. I don't know who's talking about miracle or what, what, girl. You were not. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> don't do that to me, Muena. <laughs> don't get me in trouble. <laughs> But I guess it's it's such a crazy uh, combination. But I think I have an idea how I'm trying to merge the two. And until it makes sense, I'll be comfortable with even talking about it. But with the whole radio, how it came about, I was in grade 12. And we had to do like a, a presentation. And I'm just this shy girl, very quiet. And the teacher is like, OK, cool. You guys are being separated. You're going to be in groups. And I actually cried that day. Not that it's a surprise. So I cried because the girls didn't want me in their team right so um they didn't want me in their teams and i had to end up with boys right so ending up with boys i just had to be like okay cool i'm going to show these people that i'm actually good and capable of doing this i got there and i started doing this and everyone was just like oh my god what did this even come about you know because we know you to be this quiet girl we know you to be this girl that is so shy of certain things but now you're out here and you actually speak so fluent and so well. And my teacher was like, you are good, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's when I was like, no, man, I could probably do this. I can do this. I've always wanted to be in the entertainment industry. I mean, you know, I, I always tell the story of my grandmother, how she would send me to go play jukebox. I don't know if you guys know jukebox. I do, yeah. At, I do. You know, yeah, at a local, you know, uh, tavern or pub. And I would have to come back running to dance, you know. And it, it would always be Brenda Fass. And I'd come back dance, dance, dance. So I thought I'd probably end up as a dancer, as a musician and stuff like that. But I think I was destined for, you know, television pre presenting, radio, broadcasting, man. I, I actually like, like broadcasting. I see it for you. I love it for you. It's going to happen for you. I think for as long as you have an intention, I think Denzel Washington well, about see, um, the desire okay, that you have in your heart is just God's movie. sign that's or way of showing you that it is yours and it belongs to you. Yeah. So all that you and I is to really go out there and perform.